You know, after 10 years of being in Costa Rica, I never even imagined I would think it. But maybe, maybe it's time to pack up my stuff and leave. Living in Costa Rica can be one of the most amazing experiences you'll ever have. However, there is one thing you must get right if you're gonna enjoy your slice of paradise. But before I talk about that one thing, I've been here for almost 10 years, since November of 2013. Have lived in, I think, 20, 25 different places and houses, all on purpose so that I could enjoy and find the perfect place. However, something happened just recently that has me reconsidering, wondering, should I stay? And that one thing has happened three times already. I don't know. But maybe, maybe it's time to pack up my stuff and leave. Living in Costa Rica as well, it's like any country. Any place that you live is going to have its pros and cons. It's going to have its challenges. However, because Costa Rica is, well, it really is a third world country, you'll have challenges that you might not have, let's say, in the United States or any other first world country. And when I say third world country, I don't mean that in a bad way. I love that it is because it means that I have more forest and nature and mountains and all of that instead of concrete jungles. However, in order to really enjoy your slice of paradise, like I said earlier, there is one very, very important thing you must accomplish in order to enjoy your slice of paradise. And as I said earlier, there's one thing that has happened three times already. And while I don't think I would ever really, really leave Costa Rica, because I just enjoy it way too much, it's important that you know this thing. And this one thing has happened three times, which has caused me to actually, or practically forced me to move. In other words, where I was living at, I was forced to move, go find another home because of that one thing. And that one thing is really a very, very cultural thing that is, well, unique to Costa Rica for sure. Now, is it unique to any other, maybe third world country? I don't know, but it is definitely unique to Costa Rica. And it is so well known that some businesses in Costa Rica refuse to do business with the majority of Ticos or locals and will only do business with a certain type of Tico because they know that if they were to do business with the mass majority, well, they would lose way more money than they would make. So it's important that you understand those things. So if you are thinking seriously about maybe moving to Costa Rica, or maybe you're just kind of looking around and you're trying to decide, is Costa Rica right? M maybe it's uh, Nicaragua, maybe it's Panama. If you're looking, well, it's really important that you attend this next live session. Sunday, I'll be holding a live go-to webinar where I'll be talking about some of the most important critical things you need to know before deciding or investing on coming to Costa Rica. Now, this is not a complaint session. This is not a uh, woe is me session. This is, you know, because I know there's a lot of YouTube channels and a lot of people that'll say, Costa Rica's great, it's wonderful, come, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. You're sitting on the beach with your laptop drinking martinis. Well, while you could do that, they're not telling you the real Costa Rica. And it's important you know the facts, the good, the bad, and the ugly, as I always say. And so we'll be talking about some of those things. And once you understand those things, and you understand the customs, you understand the laws, you understand then it will help you to avoid maybe getting that gringo price, maybe buying a piece of property that, well, doesn't really belong to the person who is selling it, buying a piece of property that doesn't have a title. You know, teaching you a few of these things and help you to understand some of the pitfalls will help save you thousands upon thousands of dollars. So 
Make sure that you register, look in that first comment or in the link in the description below so that you can register for this free training as I talk about everything that you need to know before coming to Costa Rica. Now, it's extremely important that you click that link and register. So if you can't attend live on Sunday, well, make sure to register anyway so that I can send you an email so that you can watch the recorded webinar. I may not be able to put that on my YouTube channel simply because it will be talking about some pretty hard truths about Costa Rica that you probably, well, I'm certain you've never heard of before. So click that link below, make sure that you register, and I'll see you Sunday, and I'll be sure to answer every single question that you have while we're on the live training. I'll see you Sunday.